Good afternoon, Saints. Once again, I'd like to uh, greet you in the precious name of the Lord's anointed, our Messiah, William Aaron Brenham, the anointed king in our midst. I realize it's so strange to the rest of the other, the rest of the world, but to the people that I'm addressing, those that I'm addressing, you understand clearly, Saints. Uh, by my reading of this message, I don't know, I could be wrong as a human being, but with all the sincerity from my soul, I don't see that there's any other thing which our prophet did not fulfill. I clearly can see the program of God of the end time, by following the scriptures which were promised for the end time, I see the prophet pointing out all the scriptures that were promised to us as believers, or the end time bride, or the second coming of Christ, the rapture, the, the coming of the kingdom of God, the ushering in of the millennium, I see all those things having been fulfilled in this last day. I know many people, they ask, they say, ah, if these things are fulfilled, why are we here? Well, my answer would be just like the way it was when Christ came to Israel. Because when he came, actually, they were looking for the kingdom of God to come. And they asked him, about the kingdom of God and then he told them that the kingdom of God do not come by observations because it's already in you. I see the same thing has repeated in this day. I see that God has actually fulfilled the promise of this day. I also see the second coming clearly being fulfilled, Christ coming in the body reform of the prophet William Aaron Brenham. I can't see anything which was which the prophet did not do to prove that indeed his ministry was the second coming of Christ. I know the the other Christians outside this message and also many of the followers of this message who just uh, depend on just going to church and becoming part of, uh, I mean, join a church, and then they are just assimilated among the believers, and um, they just go on like that. It's also a shock to them to hear what I'm saying. But I want to say that if you really open your heart and really follow this message from the beginning, from the time when William Maron Brenham was born, you are going to see that something great has happened, but it has been <gasps> sorry, it has been overlooked by the world. It has been overlooked by the Christians. It has been overlooked even by the followers of the message itself. God has fulfilled His promises for the end time. The commission which was given our prophet William Aaron Brenham was to forerun the second coming of Christ. And if you love this message and you study it with an open heart, you will see that the message of the prophet William Brenham was pointing to Revelation chapter 10. It was not pointing to any other scriptures. Of course, there are many scriptures that intermingle, are, are entwined with Revelation chapter 10. You will even see that even Thessalonica chapter 4 verse 16 is entwined with Revelation chapter 10 because it speaks of the Lord himself shall descend with a shout from heaven. The shout, the voice and the trumpet. And Revelation chapter 10, the descending of Christ with an open book, that's a great trumpet and the voice of God. And the shout of God, the message itself. Uh, I'm just trying to witness 
or I'm just trying to confess my belief that God, I have not seen where the Bible has failed. This message has really strengthened my faith in the word of God in the Bible to prove that the Bible is the living, is the true word of God and everything which is written in the Bible comes to pass irregardless of what people think or the world does. I can practically see all the promises of the Bible for us, how they have been fulfilled. I don't look at these things in the intellectual way or in a logical way or in a philosophical way or in a psychological way. I look, I open my heart to what this uneducated man, William Branham, was trying to get to us. I can clearly see that it was not this man. There was a supernatural being in this man that brought to, that accomplished all these things. A great servant alone could never have managed to bring this message together. Just look at so many people who have turned against this message who are higher educated. It amazes me that if this message is wrong, I mean, they would have forgotten about it and carried on with what they believe is correct. But they can't just get away from it. Everything they do, they try to relate it back to the message. I mean, if you meet somebody who is irrelevant, if this message is irrelevant, if this is a cult, if this is not truth, why will it trouble you? You will just leave it. We, I mean, many things which are wrong, we quickly just ignore them and forget about them. And we carry on with the right thing. But I have seen that all the people that have left this message, they've got no peace. And they've now invested all their investment is to just come against this message. How, how, how is it that you come against a great seven? You are not coming against a great seven. You are coming against the great angel of God that was in this great seven. You are coming against your creator. You are coming against your redeemer. You are coming against your savior. You are doing exactly what the Jews did. They were actually mocking and killing and laughing at their own creator, at their own, the person they claimed to be their God. That's what the Gentiles are doing. They are mocking. They are laughing. They are trampling on the flesh blood of Christ, the Holy Spirit made flesh in this day. But blessed are you who have received the message. Blessed are you who have gone, who, who by God's grace have been able to go beyond the flesh and see who visited us in this day. That it was the resurrected Son of God in the bodily form of his church, in the bodily form of his prophet, William Aaron Brenham. It is Christ that has come in this day to receive his church unto himself. And he came according to all the promises of the Bible. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the living God. Uh, sometimes I read the Bible. I read the message. I just see something. I just see something. I even wonder why are people, uh, why are people uh, so tossed about when this message is so plain and clear that it's the Messiah who has come again in this day. The same Messiah that came to Israel now came to the Gentiles just with a difference of the physical body. Because now he had to come in his own body, which he redeemed by his own blood. Remember, he died to redeem, to redeem the lost race of, uh, uh, to, to redeem the bride. He died to redeem the lost race of Adam and the bride itself. Oh, God bless you, saints. Uh, 
I, I, I really, I really, I'm really enjoying myself. And I really thank God for giving rest to my soul. I think there isn't any other thing greater than having rest in your soul. And only the Holy Ghost can give you the rest. Because the Holy Ghost itself is the rest. And the Holy Ghost is the person of God that we have received in this day. God bless you, saints.